아들 이제 양결 아주 아래쪽으로다 아버지 잔잔 Sumeru Kalbaratsaya Tata Katai Arhate Samyak Sam Buddhaya Tatyata Om Kalpe Kalpe Maha Kalpe Kalpe Pareshodane Swaha เป็นเจ้าเป็นเจ้าเป็นมาจุนเนี่ยคุณลำเดียวท่านท่านท่านนับสิบเดือนเขาเนี่ยเจ้าโอ้เจริญบ่เจ้าเจ้าบ่เอ
呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，呃，你说啊，这个，
但是你看过你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人生你的人
uh, is predicted very clearly. And he was a lama of uh, uh, very Rime uh, activities. No, no, no. Uh, not just uh, uh, Rime Kajupa. No. Rime non-sectarian. Non-sectarian economical uh, uh, activities. And uh, uh, the Jamgyong Chense and Jamgyong Kontul, uh, both of them, uh, not only preserved uh, and uh, uh, propagated uh, their own particular uh, lineages, uh, but the, 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 the Dharma or the, the lineages of all uh, Buddhist traditions uh, that was um, there in Tibet. Uh, they received uh, all the empowerments, all the tasks, uh, reading transmissions and all the instructions. Uh, and then they just, not just kind of uh, remained uh, in principle uh, non-sectarian, but they worked uh, extremely hard uh, to uh, actually preserve them and propagate them. Uh, so therefore, they received all the empowerments and all the transmissions of uh, eight practice lineages and ten uh, lineages of uh, uh, study. Uh, and then, for instance, uh, to give an example, and Jamgong Kuntu Rinpoche, uh, you know, uh, traveled all over Tibet, and whoever had any kind of uh, transmissions, uh, he would receive them. Uh, there is a, a story that once he found uh, a very rare uh, transmission uh, in somebody, uh, a very maybe, kind of maybe ordinary that, that household. Per, maybe that person is blind. Blind? Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe that person was blind or something he couldn't read, uh, but he had this transmission. So what Jamgo Kondril did was that he read line by line and then this person repeated those lines and then through that way, he received the transmission. Uh, and so therefore, you know, this is something kind of uh, beyond imagination for us, uh, how much, you know, effort he put uh, to receive uh, all different kind of uh, uh, traditions and lineages. And through that way, he compiled the five great treasures, uh, which amounts to hundreds of uh, volumes. Uh, and. Uh, uh, throughout his life, he, he worked extremely hard to receive teachings, to give those teachings, and then to, to make all different kinds of activities to preserve them uh, for the future. Uh, for instance, uh, when he was very old, when he was over 80, then uh, his hand was shaking so much that he, it was very difficult to write down. So what he did was the pen was kind of tied to his hand uh, so that, you know, uh, it would become part of his hand and then he would write still. Uh, so therefore, so his kind of activities is something that is, you know, uh, kind of never ending and uh, uh, not only for, uh, for, the, for the Buddhism, but, you know, he also composed this um, a prayer, what we sometimes do, the Shabdir Lumi prayer. And this The well-being of Tibet. Prayer for well-being of Tibet. Prayer for the well-being of Tibet, uh, that we sometimes uh, also use here. During the Kaju Malam. During the Kaju Malam also. During the Kaju Malam. During the Kaju Malam also we say these prayers. Uh, and this, as instructed by his uh, teacher, uh, because this is also something extremely important. Uh, what kind of a relationship he had with Jamyan uh, Chensi, uh, their kind of Samaya, a teacher and student relationship. Uh, each was a teacher to each other and also student to each other. Uh, and so he made these prayers, he said these prayers uh, six times day and night, every day. 
Uh, so therefore, you know, the, the kind of the way the Jamgun control and Jamian Chensu work together uh, is something that we must take as an example. And these, these two people were actually uh, predicted by the fifth Karmapa. And the fifth Karmapa said one, in one of his predictions that anybody uh, in future who make any kind of connections with Jam, Jam Yang Tensei Wambo and Jam Kung Kuntu uh, will never be reborn in the, the negative realms. Uh, and also the Chong Li Rinpoche, uh, the Te Choju Limba was part of that, uh, that kind of uh, that team. And also uh, the, uh, that Jam, the Chongju Lingba became so important and, and, uh, and his activities became so, uh, uh, so strong was also because of the support of uh, Jamyan Chensei and Jamgo Kontrul. Uh, so therefore, the Jamgo Kontrul's uh, activities are not just important for Kama Kamsang, uh, but his activities uh, extremely uh, important and uh, uh, very uh, crucial uh, for the uh, the Buddhism in general and for also the Tibet as a whole. No, that is a lot of seed. Oh yes. I'm going to say seed. Dear, ba. No. Oma di yomar di kumbu na yomar. Ningbo jebe kisi tisa pweni jibar jidoa. And uh, especially, you know, his kind of, uh, uh, his notes on uh, what he has studied and what he has received transmissions. Uh, this is not uh, uh, kind of included within his usual uh, kind of uh, work, collection of works. It's a separate thing. Uh, they are kind of big volumes big volumes, and just to read them is something, uh, a challenge for us. You know, it's a, it gives all the details of uh, uh, the, the transmissions that he received and their lineages and things like that. <laughs> And and also, you know, in Kamsang, we have the, <coughs> the practice of uh, the tantras, uh, tantra practices, sadhanas, uh, coming from the Marpas tradition. Thirteen and tantric. Thirteen. Thirteen tantric practices coming from the Marpas tradition. Uh, all these, you know, if you really want to know how they kind of uh, came down and all the details of the history and things like that, uh, we must... Uh, uh, look into the Kongru's, uh, you know, uh, works and uh, his notes. And also that we have these instructions and we have these teachings now uh, in a very kind of a pure way is also because of him, because of his contribution. Uh, we have it now still uh, intact instructions and uh, a transmission of those teachings. And this Sanyik practice book uh, is recently published in Tibet, and I think it is very important last that for year, us. I think. Last year, uh, last year, I think it was. I think last year published in Tibet. <coughs> it's maybe about thousand pages, uh, kind of thick. Uh, it is very important. I think that uh, we, if we can, you know, look at it and study a little bit, uh, because it is a source of uh, lots of information. Inf information. That um. Gulding 
Кажу, я вам хотел бы сказать, что я не могу 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 сказать, Кандарея, так он бы зумбушил джарес. Анданази, наран котер взи, наран котер себе, не, 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 Tentu jom doa cuba bersama dengan tu, yang kedua, kita angkai jom jom doa mati hati kita dah, kalau jadi situ bermakna jom doa kubur je, dah ini ya, yang kau yang bercakcian orang itu disuruh tuan ni, zaman kita tu biasa tu, zaman pun sih cari yesar pun, jadi itu zaman tu tunggu kita tu, nampak ni kita show ini beri, jadi dia lah yang mixer kalau je, ah. Mise kerja tu, nanti orang bercuti sahaja. Tak kandar ya, anu lama tu tujuh orang bu, tu ni amit cung cung, anu bercuti cung bu, dah sih bercuti hari sabtu. And the second jam control is jam is. Saya macam tu kuda ser, bah kasih je kuda puyin tu je zubur nyam tu yang dengar tu je kira sama. Umat tu tu ni tanya orang sahaja kasih. The second jam control. Is as mentioned before, Jamkun Chinsi Wizard. He was the the physical son of this 15th Kamapan Kachap Dorje, but he had very strong devotion to Kachap Dorje, and it is said that actually the the Jamkun Control, no, the first Jamkun Control, the first Jamkun Control. No, we are talking about Kachap Dorje have strong devotion with the first Jamkun Control. Kachap Dorje had a great devotion to the first Jamgon Kuntul because he was his, uh, his teacher. And uh, it is said that Jam, the first Jamgon Kuntul and Kachap Dorje uh, had a discussion among themselves and then decided that he would come back as the son of Kachap Dorje. And uh, this Jamgon Chenji Wazir was a very a uh, very pure monk, and uh, he, I've heard that, uh, and also uh, he was a great master of Mahamudra. I've heard that the 16th Kamapa, Rigpi Dorji, uh, when he had some doubts or some uncleared points about the Mahamudra teachings, uh, he would invite Yamgun uh, uh, the the Kondur Rinpoche, and through the explanation of the country in Pache, he could clear all his uh, doubts. Although uh, the 16 Kamapas main teacher was the Siddhupath, uh, and then he received all the uh, instructions and teachings from Siddhupath. Uh, so therefore, Yangon uh, Chensi was the second country in Pache, was also a uh, kind of teacher to the uh, 16 Kamapa. And he was, although he was a kind of a, a son of, a, you know, the Kamapa, and so therefore very, uh, very high family, uh, he was very humble and very kind of, uh, uh, very easy uh, for everybody uh, to kind of uh, connect with. That's uh, the Siwa, siwa, berapa? Yang lori cuci sengi berapa? Ia ni, tadi mana saja, kita harus mana saja lagi ada. Eh, tak kau kan dah? Kau tu cik kasih dah cik, cuci ni ni ni, cuma ni dia lah. Tapi tu, ane dah suruh di cik dia kasih dah cik, siapa dia tu ni? Kan dah, jangan Kunci juru be tu kisah ba, be kontungin. Tadi ni kita kasih 
ตายมีเนี่ยอันทานาชิงจองกุนจุรุบะเบกุญญุเบกะเรชะเกกะชวยตาเอเชฟยุตะตินเดตุบะเรสตินเดสกุวะติงเนี่ยขอเดือดเช
When I was in Tibet, there was some uh, restrictions. Some restrictions whether I was allowed to make recognitions of the tulkus or not. And uh, but uh, I I I recognize about around 40 tulkus, some kind of overtly and some uh, kind of more secretly. ジンジャンコンドルムチンシリインサバルチンガランガライシルフトシンダデスタジカシンジセヨヨメソラカシセヨメメソラチタタバラチレディカシエディエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエエ
activities will flourish. Uh, so therefore, uh, I very much wish and I very much request all of you to support the activities of Jamgong uh, Kuntu <coughs> ตาลุญีตงจุญีจานีตงจุญีเดเนจังกวนกุนจีซุมบาลอดุชิกิสึงเกตาบิชิวะรชิงเนลอนิชุโกยอรมาเซเนทานาชินตะซานานีตงจุ
呃，那个，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，
这个是一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要的一个非常重要
may get, may get rotten. Uh, so therefore, uh, we are you know, practicing Dharma. And so therefore, uh, our main effort is uh, the peace and non-violence and uh, to try to make our attachment and aversion uh, smaller or less. So uh, even, of course, in my own case, uh, there has been lots of things happening. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and we, you know, uh, we know what's, what's happening. Uh, but what others are doing, it doesn't matter. But I think uh, we have to, from our side, you know, uh, at least from our side, uh, if we don't get into this kind of uh, uh, the conflict, and we remain uh, with really, you know, sincere and good heart uh, and do whatever in a very positive way without kind of doing anything uh, kind of uh, negative or uh, harmful to others, and then I think this will be very, very important for the long run uh, and to, to kind of, uh, uh, for the stability and the, for the uh, remaining or the preservation, the true preservation of the teachings of uh, uh, the Kamakaju uh, in, the, in the long run. So I think uh, we all need to think deeply about this. Uh, and uh, although, of course, uh, to talk about these matters is not easy for me, it's, it's quite difficult, uh, but since I am supposed to be the, the main kind of uh, the holder of the, uh, the teachings or the, the, the lineage of the Kamakaju. And some, sometimes uh, I need to say something about these things also. Uh, and uh, uh, so therefore I say very briefly a little bit about this. Uh, so I think you can uh, yourself uh, think more deeply and uh, understand. <coughs> So now we come to the, the main teachings. Uh, the main teachings are the, uh, the Shenlok, uh, the detachment or uh, uh, <clears throat> revulsion uh, as the uh, uh, as the foot uh, of the meditation and then the devotion as the uh, head of the meditation and then uh, non-destruction as the uh, the actual kind of uh, the main practice of the uh, the meditation So the first is uh, as translated uh, in the Kaju Malam. Uh, it is uh, detachment is the foot of meditation as it's taught. Is once with no craving for food or for wealth, who cut all the ties to this life, please bless us to have no attachment to honor or to gain. Detachment, non-attachment, revulsions, disgusts, that Carrozzi, 
end of it, it's something like disgust. It's something like disgust. So this Shenlok. Shema the young, some some detachment is the young Kashel, the same with Naza in the poor school. Detachment is Naza poor, and a good you do give me out in the Naza poor school. Good you do give me out there, Shenora Aina. So when we talk about Shenlok, uh, there are many different translations uh, made uh, of this word the detachment, revulsion, disgust, and uh, many others. Uh, since, uh, you know, I don't know exactly, uh, you know, uh, I cannot feel the English word myself, so I cannot say exactly which would be the, the best translation for this word. Uh, but the, es the essential meaning is, the Shenlok means like uh, a little bit, you know, uh, if you are walking on the street and then you put your feet on the sheet, uh, then what you feel, that's Shenlok. Uh, you know, disgust kind of. Uh, sometimes I'm told that detachment uh, can also be a kind of a mental disease. That uh, uh, you, you don't feel anything, you don't feel uh, good or bad or anything. And that kind of, you know, uh, having no feeling uh, can be understood as a detachment. And if that is not the meaning here. Tadelea, <coughs> 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 Koala Gombalaya, Gogam Parson Chasanga Gores, Gogam Parson Chasanga Jikindo, and it's the Daman Karsu, Tenda Nimbur, the two DJ, so the three Manguji Lemon with Kay Samanta, and Tenda Nimbur, the DJ, the Sendilla Shamalova in Bina, the Lotus Dotores. So the great kind of uh, uh, the, the great, one of the, the the chief or the most important Mahasiddhas of Tibet, the Jetsun Tapa Jansin. Yogi uh, Islam, Yogi Islam. The, the most in the most prominent yogi of Tibet, the Jetsun Tapa Jansin, uh, the great Sakyapa master. Uh, in his uh, work called Shempa Jital, uh, uh, freeing from four attachments, given uh, by Manjushri, uh, which which was taught to him by Manjushri, uh, it is said that uh, if you are attached to this life, then you are not a uh, true Dharma practitioner. Uh, attachment for samsara. If you are attached to samsara, no, not true. The Ninjun, the Ninjun, Maris. Then it's not renunciation. Uh, if you are attached to yourself, then it's you are not a Bodhisattva. And if you are, uh, you have the grasping or the, uh, you know, you have a kind of a clinging, uh, then uh, it's, it's not, not the right view. Uh, and this, this four freeing from the attachments and the four dhammas of Gambopa are in essence exactly the same. Uh, so therefore, you know, for a kind of a person uh, to be totally liberated uh, from samsara, uh, there has to be, you know, a kind of a beginning or the, or the in a way, a head, uh, a feet, and then the kind of in between. Uh, and uh, if all these three are not there, then it is not possible to happen. Mm. 
ตาเดเลยอันจีเชลอชอรวาดเชลอเนซิเวคาราเมซินซอเชลอชอรวาดเนซิเวซิดุซานเนเอเชลอเบจิกดีกาจูเวเลชอจิกซัมดาอันเบ
detachment with these lives. And then, uh, if you are more advanced, then uh, you have no attachment to the samsara. You see that this samsara uh, is not uh, uh, a kind of a thing that you need to be attached to. You feel detached or you feel uh, disgusted with the, the samsaric state of being. And then, if you are very advanced kind of a state of being, then, you know, uh, you are not even attached to uh, the kind of the complete peace or uh, partial uh, peacefulness or the uh, kind of state of uh, a certain, you know, uh, experience of uh, experiencing the peace. So therefore, uh, you want, you know, uh, you are kind of disgusted or you, 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 your mind, according to the level of uh, your advancement, uh, so the, then a different kind of uh, revulsion or different kinds of uh, uh, renunciation uh, and detachment is uh, uh, recommended. Yeah, yeah. That's the same thing, but love to God is that she does an air lavish, and when it and a tall to do this, and the air of Germany. We are not the Shamba Candel or Lulu or Danga de Cicero Candela, Sidusane, de Tisha Galahabrishua. Tadayang Rangsum Zurida. Tanga Sum Zutada, de Yume, Tada de Yus Gomanda, Sum Zutu, Dabni on Jorwa. Tanga Sum Zuziana. Tanga to choose as Adi Carzore. Chima Pinjigi to Enchagilia, that's your choice of Orba. Send the Enchagilia churches, Manoa. Churches are the set of Chima Pinjigi, Pitigaja, a pair of Tupsi Jar of Delia, churches, Orba. The name is on it. Send the Gitan Conan Chedin, or Church Aguas Gayamare. And the Send Digi, and maybe a Chotogi, 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 Tangazushekwa <laughs> Tablum, then Bezusia delia, chess horba. The name just done a true chess to do stand in Jimmy Garigorasana. Oh, Pugan, but set up Chima Pensic turned to Zo Chengi. That's in that Togo turned to Chechego or in a day, Zo Mimba, the short, short imba. Zo de, a set of Chima Pensic turns at it, Zo imba, Tendigic, Midi Samuel, the Gore. That the new Gujo Lorne. So, the people who are in the world are in the world. They 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 are Then Sad Namshi Tango de Deji, the Lego walked up at Tanze, Tinji Yedeva, Tolo and the Jaguji Matayamani, Sajutin Saturji Matayamani, Tony Yamani, and Dusatin Tobuji Matayamani, the teaching that they call death of Ta, Mazu. This new birds manner, death of someone, Shindos, Toshi Tigre, Anna Mushi Tigre, Anna Kelshi Tigre, Yaman Kushi Tigre, Taka and Chichirbata. The name Dusane. Ego, the, eh, eh, 
那就去吃吧，今天就算了。吃完吃完，做的干的也不得。那你就吃点吃嘛，平时一天吃的做的。那你现在都学了的，嗯，煮那样不得，焖煮那，但不干熟的。别买几大干的，别省的呀，别那
you know, think about our future and our long-term future uh, should be more important. Uh, like, for instance, we might be doing some, something, some business or something, and that business might go right, might go well, might not go well. Uh, but even if it doesn't go well, that should not, you know, uh, kind of affect the whole of our life or the whole of our, you know, uh, mental conditions. Because, you know, we can do something else maybe, but our most important thing is that, that whether we are going in a certain way, uh, that will bring us more benefit in the long run, not only in these lives, but also the lives to come. So, I feel that to have this right priority, whether long-term is more important or short-term is more important, and to see that the long-term is more important than the short-term benefits, this is what I feel is the, you know, uh, having no attachment to this life. Yan Chuddies Yang Kashi, Yanji Gindum be sobter of shedding, when it's an egg in Duba Mingi, then they are pay or them. Tang Azun de Gudumon of Zonga de Carichet Chatang in the sun, Rugap, Chai Tupta, and Kunji Jab in the sun, and a bit Sanga Jab, Kunji Tupta. The Gudumon of Yah, the Kunji Irata, Chat Manja Irata, Ji Pale Ira of the Nizik Chet Chimina. I'm え、で、ジン、ザムリンダ、エネジ、ロアサムジェタムジェクシェド、モナムジャグ、トゥジュ、え、コガブサンボチ、ネサムデジリア、ネデベダ、ソナム、ソサ、コガブサンボチ、ニ
Twenty digi did same Nalod Varjik, Chokshe Chia, Tan Sosu Samuel Nane, and a bear Karsweta, uh, Nangi digi Zer, then it's a summary court of Chuimina, and a Shinage, Tenda Samar to the Mizidela, uh, Karsway, uh, Chogo Gaza, which the Tulo Consul to Mimba, Tele Harvey, Tren Samoshinati, Lingu Everich, that the Nijam Kotwa, then it digs and then. Tak boleh siapa lawa saya, tak boleh lima mahu saya ikut sama bos. There are also some people uh, who might not have uh, any kind of confidence or belief uh, in the next life or life after life. Uh, even for those, uh, there is, I think, a way uh, to understand this, not having attachment to this life. Uh, although, you know, it's also important to understand that when we talk about this kind of the beginner level beings, there are also two levels, uh, the man be beginner level and then kind of the, the ordinary beginner level. Uh, now, to give an example, uh, many people come here uh, to Kaju uh, Especially monks and nuns. Especially monks and nuns. Many monks and nuns have come, uh, and then also monks and nuns from abroad, uh, and uh, many, you know, many people have come here. And they are uh, true monks and nuns, and true Sangha members also. And there are others who are kind of pretending like, to be. Lo looks like. Looks, looks like a uh, Sangha member, but not real Sangha members also. We are not sure. We are not sure. And then, you know, and then here we have like uh, uh, serve tea and uh, serve um, bread and uh, sometimes even money. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes, you know, some people might just kind of make. To you, may have to you, they may have to chat to look at some lion prince doing all that. They don't come usually, but when there's a tea, then they come. And then when there's a tea, they kind of go and kind of try to uh, get that. And when there is a kind of a distribution and something, then they... So if that becomes the main thing, you know, then the, the, the purpose of going to Kaji Melam uh, does not serve, serve. So meaningful. So meaningful. Not so meaningful. Uh, and uh, so therefore, you know, when people come here for Kaji Melam, you know, uh, maybe they'll give tea, or maybe they don't get kind of those kind of things. But that's not the most important thing. You know, we come here uh, in order to not get just tea and bread and things like that, but we have come here to pray for the world peace. So therefore, we have to understand, we have to see that this is an opportunity for us to practice that, to do some prayers, to do whatever we can to make some positive deeds, to accumulate some merit, uh, whether we believe in the, in the lives or next lives or many lives or not. Uh, in fact, even to be able to really understand and believe in uh, life after life, you need, we need to actually uh, accumulate lots of you know, merit, otherwise we would not. But here, to understand this, there's, you know, there's a very important thing and very, uh, something different that we need to, we can, even without believing in life after life, we can understand, we have to understand this, uh, there, that there is kind of uh, uh, not attached to this life. So what it means uh, is this, that some of us, or may, most people, believe that our happiness, uh, comes from the things around us, uh, the material things around us. So if we really look deeply, we can understand very clearly that the material things is not the source of our happiness. Uh, many people from developed countries have understood this, that they have they've kind of, uh, they've got all of the things, you know, the machines and all kind of material things and then they understand that these material things does not necessarily bring the lasting really peace and happiness to yourself. Actually, 
uh, our too much attachment to them, uh, it brings more difficulties and more problems and more, you know, uh, attention and uh, unhappiness in ourselves. So when we understand deeply that this material, only material gains, or only running after material things, is not the source of our happiness, so then we have to understand that the happiness, the true happiness, the real happiness, has to come from within, uh, to develop a certain kind of uh, contentment or uh, to, to learn how to, uh, how to bring happiness from within ourselves uh, and not just based on uh, that gaining the material things. So when we understand this, then I think there's this another level of, you know, understanding that life or the material things, this life's kind of material gains is not the source of our happiness. So therefore, having detachment or revulsion or, you know, uh, some kind of renunciation or this distaste to this uh, the, the kind of uh, things that is supposed to bring happiness to the life, when we understand this, then I think this is another way of understanding that, uh, the, you know, kind of uh, finding not, not attached, no, no attachment to this life. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm <laughs> Young game, but me no George Liba Tejavin, and that be Punjuchiris, the Nora Langris. Bena, Gom Jagachi, in a Tabu young and midi, send the Shabayo thing is Javina, and Gom did send the Chalachado, send the Chalachado Madre Mato, and it is Serb Chima Pesu to Enchagwe, Chenama Chumarwa. Then in Dusana, Gom did Tabu young and Manorogil dress. Dress is a mission that you dress go Matagata, social day world. So, 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 Di Lawalia and Gom de Ti Lawal Samata, Lawal de Tias Gamaratina, Tila Gom de Batawa Jabchubina, and a Gom de Carsure, Batada, Coran Rosel and Garden Dores, Nechesa, Gom Tabula to Sada, and Shalom Gom de Gambasad, Benam Carsureta, or Milian, Rosegi Gamba Gorba, Rosegi Gamba Men and Dotu Marva, the name Dusane, Dine Sanki Sala and Drasha, Gamba Menita Caresana. That so, uh, we talk about the, uh, the detachment is the foot of meditation. And, uh, and, and sometimes it is also said uh, the, uh, the gum, the meditation has to be given the right kind of a, a person or a right ownership. Uh, and this uh, right ownership uh, is something important. Uh, it is said that, uh, like, uh, if you give a meditation uh, to somebody uh, whose main kind of uh, intention or the aspiration is only to do something for the benefit of now or this life alone, then whatever this person does, whether it's meditation or whatever, 
this will be only used for that purpose and nothing more. Uh, so therefore, you know, it is important to give this meditation to somebody who can use it in the right way. Uh, so that, you know, when somebody has that uh, understanding of uh, uh, kind of uh, dis detachment or uh, revulsion to the samsara, uh, then uh, the meditation will be used for, uh, you know, much deeper and much more purposeful, uh, much more useful way for the long run. So therefore, uh, uh, the, the great masters have said, that the meditation has to be given to the right or right person, or the right honors. And then when we talk about the kangpa or the foot, uh, the detachment is the foot of the meditation, and then it is to say that, you know, uh, if that, if, we, if the person doesn't have uh, the renunciation or this kind of uh, uh, revulsion or this detachment or this, this kind of disgust to this samsaric state of being, then uh, this person will not be able to go towards the, the true liberation or, you know, uh, the true kind of uh, uh, enlightenment. And if uh, that person has that, uh, you know, the understanding or experience of uh, detachment uh, or uh, revulsion or the uh, the disgust to the samsara, samsara then uh, it is, you know, whatever meditation or whatever practices that person is given or that person has uh, will certainly take you to, so therefore it is to the, to the, to the liberation, so therefore it becomes like a, a the feet and without the feet you cannot go forward and the feet has to be also a good one, kind of a not a kind of crooked feet or, you know, disabled one, but the real kind of a positive, uh, strong feet. So therefore, uh, uh, it, is, it is said like this. Oh, yeah. Mm. เฉลอเตเลอาตะโกเปซุยนะบิชวินนะโกเปซุยนะติโตทานะยังอาซุยังทําซอติเนเรบิเชโกดิซันติสกะลาบะเปซุยนะจิชวินนะดึกเมโด
uh, I would like to give some examples or anecdotes. Uh, maybe sometimes these anecdotes are too kind of uh, windy and uh, maybe too high or something like that, then it doesn't work, but I'll give this anyway. Uh, this is a story from Jalwa Yangunpa. Uh, Jalwa Yangunpa was staying in Bhutan. No, no, Yang not Bhutan. Bhutan uh, it's a retreat. In retreat. And Jawa Yangumba is a student of Gotsangba? Yes. And he was in the retreat. And when he was in retreat, you know, there is a kind of a practice uh, of giving water to the Zambala. Water toma. Uh, water Maybe. ceremony to the Zambala. And uh, the Jawa Yangumba gave up doing this. No, 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 no. When he drank the, drank the Karsade water ceremony, uh -huh. the water bubble, Okay, to when bubble. he was going this, giving this water, water giving water to the, uh, to the Zambalas, and then uh, from the bubbles of the water, bubble uh, Chambuchan. Uh, the water became, the bubble became big, and then the, the yellow and the black Zambalas came out of these bubbles. And then this yellow and black Zambalas asked, you know, we want to give you whatever you want. Uh, please ask what you want. Uh, we are ready to give whatever you want. So when they said this, Yawa Yongkampa said, Oh, I don't need anything. Uh, I don't want anything. I have everything I need, even if I am in the, the retreat or remote in the, place. You know, in remote the place. Remote place, in the solitude or in wherever. I get everything what I want, so I have nothing you need to give me. If you, have some, if you have something to give, or if you can give something, give them to the beggars. And then he kind of put off all the water. Uh, so this is, you know, usually, you know, we try to, you know, try to practice Zambala, or we try to propitiate Zambala uh, many days or many weeks, and try to kind of get something, uh, some good dup or some, uh, you know, uh, some gains from it. And if, if Gansambala appeared, we would have asked so many things. Uh, but he, you know, uh, he didn't need anything of those things. He knew that, you know, uh, everything that he has is enough and things like that. So therefore, when you are like that, then, you know, uh, you have attachment to the things. And, uh, <laughs> Chudo Ujimba, the Gamabushi Loma, the Guasamba Loma in Beer, Guasamba Loma, Tushu Randa Yamba said the Marabe, Tushu Randa Yamba said in Beer, Taka Kon Tushu Jaba Bemin Zerwa, Takon Chitusan, Kon that Yaval Ting is a pay you see, Ta, Chen Ting Tambo, the Yaval Pebe, go so then a dog at the Norgian, so you double zero. No one should boo Marbeti. Yeah, <laughs> Lossum should be an ang and Zumbulin, that Zumbulin citizen, Gagalis, Kuyeda, Zumbulin Sasan, who you didn't hear my dandy. A Jenna Zumbulin, the Sumchen three Sumchen Yi. No, good time. I kill to do Sanan to do with him, and kill and shut out a chub of Pugores, shut out chub and get Pitus Amaras. Tanganai Another story is from Tutup Ujenpa. Tutup Ujenpa was the student of Kama Pakshi, uh, and, and also he was a student of Jawa Gotsungpa. 
and it is said that uh, he was one of the Java Gosampa students whose kind of tuljuk, whose yoga uh, practice was equal to his teacher. And Java Ujinpa went to India two times, and uh, I think it was during the first time he went to India. Uh, he he, he Magadha. In, in Magadha, in Bodh Gaya, Bodh Gaya, Bodh Gaya. in Bodh Gaya, he had a vision of uh, Ganesha, you know, this, uh, the Indian deity with uh, the head of an uh, elephant. And uh, the Ganesha told him that I would like to become your protector. And uh, you should give me, uh, you know, uh, offerings. Mm. And uh, my sadhana is in Tibet. And uh, if you do that, if you practice that uh, and make offerings to me, and if you stay in Buddha Gaya for three years, then I will make you the, the head or the uh, owner of uh, two thirds of the world. I don't know whether that world. Uh, was India uh, meant to be India at that time or the real world? I don't know, but he was told like that. So when he was told like that, Java uh, Ujjanpa said, uh, I cannot give you offerings because uh, you may need offerings of, you know, uh, meat and blood and things like that, which I'm not going to give you. And actually, I don't need any protector. I am protected enough. I don't need any, any protector. Whether I want to stay in Buddha Gaya for three years or not, it's up to me. I don't, you, know, you don't have to tell me what to do or not. Uh, and even if you offered me two-thirds of the world, you know, what, what do, I do, do I do with it? I don't need anything. I am just a monk. I don't need two-thirds of, of the world. So he didn't, you know, he didn't agree and uh, he didn't accept. This offer. Uh, Dongere. Chingdag, and so in uh, in short uh, you know, when we say that uh, uh, to be free, to cut the ties of this life, uh, then, you know, we all want to be free. We all freedom, want freedom. freedom. And uh, it is said that uh, the, if you have freedom for yourself, it's happiness. If you do not have freedom for yourself, it's, uh, it's suffering. Uh, so therefore, if we are too much attached to the, the luxuries of this life, to the needs of this life, to all these material things and, you know, uh, to the kind of worldly things, then, you know, you get, uh, you get kind of uh, uh, caught in this. You get, uh, you get uh, tied up 
to those things. And so therefore, you lose your independence. You lose your freedom. Uh, you become, uh, you know, uh, you become under the uh, power of whether you have those worldly things or not. Uh, so therefore, you are tied, tied up with this, you know, you are too attached to those things. So therefore, your freedom uh, to be, you know, to be independent is lost. And so, duetak, uh, this, the Tibetan word duetak here, uh, is actually, you know, the thing that uh, the cattle have. The cattle have something uh, in their, you know, uh, neck that with which you kind of tie up, so that when you have that, then you are not free. You are tied to a rope. Uh, so therefore, when you get it free from that, then uh, you are, you know, you, you really get the freedom. Uh, so therefore, you know, uh, if you are attached to the worldly things too much, then you kind of become a slave of the worldly, uh, worldly desires or worldly kind of needs or worldly concerns. Uh, and so therefore it's like you are kind of, uh, uh, you are put down, you are kind of snared or, you know, caught up with this. Uh, so therefore, you know, uh, to, be, to be free from that is uh, the important way of freeing yourself. There are some, I have, I have, I've been thinking about a story to tell. To do, you have some of the story, that is here now. That is the new news 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 here now. Although it's a kind of a very, old story. Very old, 900 yeah. years old story. No, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you that the woman is just that the chubu the jangbu jiyores are the chubu jiye. The kambe guasa the la jangbu jiyores. Na chubu kon jawa chamu chye. And the Hindustan ko nyo ko konda tapari ko korang nyu zi kya ko yor nyu changa kya. That the chung song ro the niyor ba. The ring kaze chung do the kaze song do jin chang. Jangbo dekho sajju khunju dekho tabjaji ma do yao ma re tolong jogo yao re di ne ya Gondha tabari chi kona desu te desu te zang kwa shiya taan te di yao Ngo chubo di sa mene na ngaan dekho jowa yao re di shiya teng ju shan shiya teng ju chengge min dekho Dekho chi kim na kin toho khabin dekho chengge yin na sa ma Ko ta chi chi chengho do san chai Ay ni me chi le jangbo dekho chilo le tolong ka Ndru shu liya Ko si se ren go zi chi jangbo dekho desu te shan yao Say Ragan was bad. Then, then, Tambo would eat on the yellow design, go serian was a tongue in this tumble, or the music, the serendi, the parson is a little portion is there, just on this any part there or do or something. I'm going to take some tango again, oh, just in the good joke, my tumble. Saju kunju mewe insan, dia la kunjau tu si sini, tu kunjau mudah naik je sah. Tapi tan di sini pak kalau saji cek, kalau zon ni tan di le tene, ni dah musa ni, dah musa ni dah kampu jab jing dah mana cek wasam dah kau sama mampu tangan ruah, dah di kau dah sama mampu tu kau siap tunggu jasur. Cukup ke, ni gigona ni mah tiada orang tak kau tak cek cek, tanpa kau kalau cek tu tadi si tu sana. Oh, di kawasan ini kau sini ha kau ada. Azu tu juga ber, kalau semua jalan, jul jul, mana sih na, jul longjoy, azu ber, nisan ber, ber, kalah hijab, anu ber, misi dah ber, kalau semua, ni, tu ada bombot itu, jenggol itu, bombot itu, tu ada sih sih, tu ada tu kalah cebi na, azu sokom cebi, an dah na sih, tak kanda, eh, eh. Kam dua kebab macam, cakap apa jumsen, tapi kalau pemain cakap jumsen ni, ni kita yang cakap tu. Tapi ni yang mika sih, kali kali, ni kita yang ada ko kasih. Junod ni lepas sembar cerita cakap yang jualan, kali kali ni kita yang ada miu zoi ini mesti pas jen. Anu be junod so ada miu zoi ni cakap, junod macam mana? Anu susu so ada terasa, kasih. Ini kalau lekas orang itu susu susu ramai sesiapa tu yang tua. Siapa tu di sini Hindustan? 
Junosad digitabetin durumato digi di junosad chel marwa. Te ngong gushulosrwa. Te ne indusna di junzen den da ko kasueta junorgi yoburucha. Junod zacher sosu soada sosu ki mizinin bole junor zacher cha indusana. Te di junzen den da kare mama cheti isle. Ta dribje moya. The story goes like this. There was a a uh, rich person, and uh, next to his house lived a very a poor person uh, who was actually a beggar. And uh, the rich person, uh, every evening, had to do the accounting and had to kind of count money and was working very hard all the evenings. And meanwhile, the, uh, the, the poor person uh, came home and then he was singing. Uh, and uh, being very kind of merry and happy. So one day, the, the rich man was thinking, uh, why is he so happy and why is he singing all the time while I'm you know, not happy and have so much stress and things like that? Uh, probably all this wealth maybe is the cause of my kind of tension and unhappiness. So he wanted to test. So next, next morning, while this uh, poor man went begging, uh, he went and uh, put a big lump of gold, as big as the head of a goat, uh, in the house of this uh, poor person. Uh, so in the evening when the poor person returned, so he saw this big gold piece. And then first he thought, oh, maybe somebody has lost this, so I need to return it, uh, whoever belongs to it. And then next, he thought that, well, you know, they cannot lose it in my house. So it, this must be something, uh, a kind of a blessing uh, from, you know, Buddhas or something like that. Uh, that because I'm so poor, so therefore, out of kindness, uh, they gave this to me. Uh, so then he thought, okay, now I need to sell this. And then I, made to, I need to invest, make some investment. And then... Maybe with that I need to build a house and what kind of house I would like to build. And so he started to think on these lines and forgot to sing that night. So meanwhile, the, the rich person was actually watching him through his window, what he's doing. And then he, he, came to, you know, he came to notice that as soon as he got this gold, he stopped singing. So therefore, he understood that Actually, this gold not became a kind of a cause for his happiness, but actually even stopped him from enjoying himself and singing things like that. So this is something very important because usually, you know, when we are, you know, we all work and do lots of things to get money and, you know, uh, rich and things like that to earn our livelihood. And... Uh, and why we earn, you know, money and, you know, riches and things like that, uh, it's because we want to be happy. And in order to make ourselves happy, then we need the money and all those things. So therefore, uh, the money is, uh, you know, in order to bring happiness to ourselves. But uh, in the process of earning, you know, more money and more properties, then sometimes it so happens that our kind of aim or objective of life becomes to earn more money. So therefore, you know, in order to earn more money and more, you know, kind of riches or wealth, we kind of, uh, we spend all our life. We are, you know, uh, we kind of lose this, uh, this perspective that it's not in order to bring happiness we need the money and we need the wealth. Not that uh, kind of our life is to just earn money and earn wealth. So when people kind of lose this perspective, sometimes they become so kind of hooked up in or too attached to, to earning money and wealth that if you lose our wealth or lose our job, then some, some people even commit suicide. So that's why, you know, like, uh, we have totally kind of lost our, uh, you know, our kind of uh, 
uh, perspective. And so therefore, this kind of understanding, we have to make very clear that uh, we want to be happy and that's why we need things, but not that you know, we don't become a slave to uh, the worldly concerns or worldly things and thereby lose our happiness as well.